What is up guys and welcome back to another episode of Auction Not Included Cesspool. So in the last episode we cleaned up the base. Now I remember having trouble trying to get this going and the heat just wasn't cut. The heat from this just couldn't do it. So we're going to work on building a tank right here for that specific purpose. Now I'm also noticing I cannot find my Atmos suit thing so we're going to have to make another one here. Uh, Atmos suit forge. Um... <coughs> Hmm. Let's see. Oh. Okay. This cab right here. That'll do it. Alright, and that'll get us a new atmosphere so that way we can build a water tank. We're going to fill this up with water. And uh, we're going to pop all the gases out so it can be nothing but water. And then on one... In the middle of the room, we're going to put a liquid tepidizer, which is this guy right here. Um, who's currently running through this one? Ooh, not that much. Uh, how much power run required for this though? Let's say. Requires 960. Yep. Um, and on this, is that potential load or is that actual load? Let's mm. we'll go ahead and run the risk. Set that up. Um, and then we're gonna have a pump on one side with a thermal temperature regulator. And uh, I'm gonna install some temp ship plates. Uh, we got loads of steel, so I'll use steel. This uses 800 per, so we're gonna try to be sparing with it. Steel. Okay, hold on. Didn't produce against that last thing. But, okay. Let's go. Boop, 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 boop. Every other space. Just like that. That'll help balance out the temperatures. Put a liquid tepidizer made of steel. Right. There. We hook up that wire. There we go. And then, like I said, we're going to put pump on this side. By the way, guys, uh, I hadn't mentioned it, but um, Uh, sorry, I lost train of thought. Uh, so I hadn't mentioned it, but this is the first video I've recorded in probably about four weeks of cesspool. And not for a lack of not wanting to, I just recorded so many back to back, and I was I had to take a break from it because I was like, I'm recording way too many. I need to slow down. And I've actually bought the spaced out DLC since I was recording this, so that's something to keep in mind. Um, let's see. Let's see, I want, yeah, we're going to set this up. And I'm not going to shut off the pump. I'm just going to let the pump continuously run. Well, actually, no, that's not what I want to do. I'm going to put a... I want to put Okay, I got somebody here. I'm gonna take this guy right down here. To the pump. This guy is gonna 
control this. And the reason we're doing that is because if the temperature up here is too low, I want the pump to start kicking in and running hot water through it and pouring it back out on this side. That way we can regulate the temperature. And if the temperature is above, at a certain threshold next to the pump, I want this thing to keep, I want this thing to stop move, uh, working so we don't turn this water into boiling water and make steam. I don't know how high this can increase the temperature of water. Um, I think it just continuously produces heat. So I think it can get pretty dang hot. Uh, properties, it melts at 4,000. I don't think it has an overheat temperature as far as I can tell, but I'm not sure. Um, oh, and another thing I uh, blueprinted out over here that I want the duplicates to work out is I decided we're going to utilize the steam vent. I went ahead and expanded this out one block so it won't line up evenly. This thing produces 900 degree steam, which is awesome. So this thing will produce this. Uh, this thing will use the steam, and after it's used the steam, it's going to spit out the water out here, and it's going to go through, uh, get sent over to the cooling loop to cool down to the proper temperature temperature before it gets sent into the base. So we can utilize that water, and then the steam itself. Um, then the uh, sorry, not the steam itself, but the. Uh, but the steam guys will keep this thing going, but I had to keep cool this thing down. So I extended the cooling loop we've got going on through the hydrogen up here down to over here. I do want to take a look at our cooling loop and how we're running it. So I want to make sure we're running it efficiently. efficiently. And we will definitely have not. Okay, we're Power is definitely an issue, but I'm going to let the duplicates build for a minute, and then we're going to check out all three of the things we just set up. Alright, so we got it all set up over here, and I went ahead and had it analyzed so we keep up with how long it's going to be. Okay, we're going to go up to 10 seconds. There it goes. Here's a bunch of steam. Increases some power for a while. Overheat damage, what the fuck? Generate us a bunch of power. Currently generating the max, which is 850 watts. Whenever it stops generating steam, though, then it'll just power down. But that'll give it time in between to cool down. So, get up to another third of the cycle. And we're getting a bunch more water out of this. So, we're using it to create power and we're getting water. So, I call it a win win. All that water we just generated is getting pumped over. Oh, here it comes. Here comes the last of it right there. Let's see here. 400 kilograms. Almost a ton just right there. That's a ton out of those three pipes. Sweet. That'll generate us a bunch of water. power.
he's this thing right here is causing our uh, stuff to heat up real hardcore. The cool steam vent we got over here. If it if it produces steam at a higher temperature, I just put a a, a a steam machine on it, but it does not, unfortunately. But that's another form of power that we can use. Yep, there it goes again. It's really hot though. Luckily it doesn't overheat for a long time. I don't know how frequently this thing... So this thing will be going about three times a day for 36 days. active for 97 cycles, but it's deactive for about 60. So, it's a pretty good way to get some uh, energy and energy and water. So, I'm not going to complain too much. Put a lot less stress on our uh, power system. Do we not have any batteries? That's something I'm just realizing I don't see. Do we not have a power storage? Let's fix that. So now we're going to be, now we have a place to store more power. This, looking at this whole thing, it looks like we're not storing any of the power we're getting. We're just using it. And that is not very cost effective. Got another power source, which is good. We're gonna need more of those. Uh, eventually, I'd like to start digging my way up, but at the same time, I'm just like, mm, I don't know, because this is the classic one, and they still have the meteor showers, which I'm not a big fan of. But what we could do is start working our way down towards lava and petroleum and oil, and we can start uh, mining. I'm going to set up a low tier command here. Then, ooh, I just noticed there's a natural gas geyser. We can set up another generator down here. Um, let's go ahead and get to work on that, actually. Okay. What we will do is we will contain this whole setup. So they can get it 
built. And outside of that, we'll just keep digging down. Gas reservoir. That sounds there. I want them to come in here and build these like tiles before I actually give them other tasks to do. In fact, let's go ahead and cancel that for now. And these ladders. I don't want them digging out any more than they have to early on. I want to save as much space in here as I can. find another hydrogen vent we can set us up another hydrogen generator or we can set up a natural gas generator for now i need to uh, take a look at the natural gas generator okay it produces carbon dioxide and polluted water okay not really that big of an issue blue water i think it just drops on the ground too so We may set up a collection system for this. I'm gonna pump the gases up to make this a little a smidge bit easier. What we'll do is we'll go ahead and set up the infrastructure for this. Definitely not out of stuff. Iron is fine. Okay. Okay. We're actually gonna set up the second pressure gas reservoir. I know they're expensive, but they gotta be worth it. Well, first let's set up the two generators. So let's set up two of them. Okay. One here. One here. Oh, make it three. Yeah, I like that. And then. Keep up, but it definitely cannot. 
we have so much backed up water in that cooling system, it's going to take a while. Like, quite a while. We got loads of water piping in, but we're cooling it down so we can use it for other purposes. up one of these to this system. But let's just keep working on this for now. Okay, they got the room set up. Um, go ahead and deconstruct all of these letters. Wait for somebody to come out here and do that real quick. Eventually. There you go, out of way. Okay, we're going to set up a high... Uh, it's probably not necessary to do a high pressure pump. We are going to make it out of steel regardless. Okay. Okay. We're going to set that pressurized storage. I really have no use for it. Okay. Put the power with this. Go ahead and connect it to the main grid. Put the power down here. some stuff to do. Okay. I do want to hook up a smart battery to this, though. Um, Related tile. I'll set up here for tile so that way I can just call that natural gas and pour through it. Smart battery. power storage anyway. Since it's so close, this will be prioritized first, then this. So then, automation it is heavily unnecessary for me to use anything. Use more than one of these for it. But I'm going to go ahead and do it anyway, so that way I don't get that one sign all over. There we go. That'll give him some automation, and then I'll set the numbers to him. Okay, and this should work pretty well. And this will gather me up natural gas. It'll pump it straight up into here and get us to the natural gas geyser, uh, ga natural gas generator. And once they have this all hooked up, it should be up and running. <sighs> this 
still thinking about the... Just for safety reasons, I should probably hook up a sensor. Uh, I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna go lazy, bitch. Boop. 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 And then hook up power. Anything but natural gas from flowing in these pipes. So when is this thing gonna go active again? Okay. It'll be another 30 cycles. But we have quite a bit of natural gas in there, so that'll generate us. Almost enough power to last us to that point. Alright. Wait for it. Oh, priority of five. By the way, uh, playing the Spaced Out DLC, I come to find out that the classic world ter terrains are much, much, much larger than the Spaced Out ones. Like, they're like half the width. Like, Alt-S. <laughs> if I were to say how big the, uh, the width of the Spaced Out DLC worlds are, they're about here. You would see the end right over here and over here. You probably can't see my mouse, but uh, like at the edges of the mouse, uh, edges of the map, right now it would be about how big it is. Which is not terribly bad, but at the same time it's kind of annoying. It's just like, why the world's gonna be smaller? I know you get more than one world, but at the same time, come on. They've almost got everything hooked up. A few more things. Are things running over here? Steam generator still going, generating us loads of power. Still not getting any backups though, which kind of sucks. So hopefully things are keeping up a little bit better now. I've got to get off my dependency of coal. Like it's getting ridiculous real fast. These two alone take 24. Like, I have to have a trans uh, transformer for each of them. Granted, if I had, uh, if I were willing to run a connection pipe, I could run a heavy duty wire and hook up both of them because you could fit both of them on 4,000 watts or 4 kilowatts. Come on, guys. Ooh, they got the filter set up though. So, unbreathable gas, natural gas. Alright, they've almost got it all built. Come on guys, you're doing great. Keep it up. Oh, and I and off camera and I actually set up this stuff. This will help them relax. My stress was getting way too high. I don't really understand why either. Let's see. I'm gonna take a new dupe. We're doing really well on food. This person has some heavy duty excavation skills. So a spot down here. I see I just kind of turned everyone back to the default. Um, you're prioritizing digging. And schedule wise, you like to work during the day. I'll go ahead and put you on the second schedule. And that should. Oh, and skills. Ahi. You have extra digging skills. That's why stress is high. Morale is down. Quite a few people have low morale. Not everyone, but there's two of them that definitely do. 
What are you? You're primarily the critter rancher. Um, I'll go ahead and give you critter ranching too. You're also a critter rancher. Um, I'm actually going to give you guys digging and construction. You are our mechan our engineer dude. Nope. Nope. Hell nope. Eh, I could get another skill or two. Let that go. Still not seeing any oil biome. I know that, that since it's the classic world, we will eventually see one, but at the same time, like, where is it? the last cable, and there it is. Now this should be pumping up natural gas. This will help us produce polluted water too, which is another good water source. Okay. Set this to eighty percent. Okay, they will shut off till these smart batteries are empty. They're still getting power. All right, I'm gonna turn this down to about forty uh, to about. That way, these won't get prioritized. Okay, take a look, because I'd rather use the natural ga gas generators first because that's a naturally occurring source. To start at the 60%. So we're not producing any other gases that are annoying. Because clearly we are, there's slime in here. Thankfully I put that filter there. settings for when they build it. There we go. Now we'll start producing polluted oxygen. pump out all that polluted oxygen, it'll get minted out, and we won't have too much storage. Damn, they already built all the salt water guys. Huh, another 
other source of water that we really just don't need. Um, Alright, well, let's just keep digging our way down here. Put this down already at five. Hey, oil. Heck yeah. The oil is important, but the main reason I'm coming down here is I want to get to magma. Instead of geothermal generators. Do, 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 do. Okay, you. Okay, we need to fix this. Bahi is too slow to keep coming out here. So I'm gonna set it up so Bahi cannot come out here. You can go back in, but you can't go out. That way, when you go back into the base, you'll stay there. Because you are way too slow to be out here, bud. You're literally going to make one trip, suffocate, and then go back to the base. Look how slow that is. Eventually his athletics will get better. Alright, he's burning off the last of our natural gas, so... Once it starts erupting, then we'll have plenty of natural gas for doing shit. How high is this polluted water, by the way? Oh, that's not bad. I'm okay with that, actually. Um, in fact, I'm so okay with it that I just want to hook it up right there. There we go. Awesome sauce. Alright, so in about 30 more cycles, so about cycle 414 ish, uh, this thing will start producing natural gas and our natural gas generators will start running. Awesome! Look at all that crude oil. Let's go ahead and cap this thing off. I don't want to sit here producing a shipload of food. Excuse me. Oh, there's a water. <laughs> a water weed there. Let's get it out of the way. And then over here. I want them to throw up something like that with a door on it. That'll stop producing shitloads of freaking... Okay, not to get rid of that, I'll just move this over. There we go. And that will cap that off. We don't have to worry about it anymore. Ooh, diamonds! That means probably right below that is where the, uh... It's probably where the, uh, magma is. Slickster farm. That would have created a good food source for pretty cheap. Okay, we've already kind of capped it off. I 
Ooh, lead. Bunch of lead down here we can get through. Ah, there's the magma. I'm gonna explore all along the biome that's right here. We're gonna dig along the uh, missileite. That way we can expose all the magma and figure out the proper formation for us to start moving the magma. Oh, that's a self-sustaining system. We're out of natural gas in our generators, which is fine. is now getting too hot at 200 degrees. Steam is 800 degrees. Okay, yeah, we're definitely going to have to figure out a better cooling system for this. on the other side of the base so we don't have to run again.
Okay, noticing a problem. This is transferring a lot of heat. Okay, then let's actually run the power from this side. I just took out back in, but come on, move it faster, guys. It's storming outside. One second. All right, guys. <clears throat> so I ended up putting this in a vacuum because I was tired of transferring heat out of base. It was a pain in the ass too. So I had to basically create an opening right here. Valve coming up the gas, pump out the gas, so it's empty, and then 
cap it off so that way they can back in So this can transfer heat. It can't transfer heat from this to this. And since it's already insulated, it's all going to transfer heat from that one either. Now I have a cooling loop and take a look at this. The temperature of this is already going down dramatically. Look at that. It was at like 200 degrees. Now it's at 121.9. It's still going down. So the cooling loop is all set up. Once this stuff gets hot enough to start producing uh, steam, this one will start working and will start producing steam as well. I have this set to, uh, if it's above 32 degrees, to go ahead and run it. So now we have this all set up. Okay, so now we have a new power generation system here using a steam geyser, or steam vat, and then we also have a new power system generating power via the thermal aqua tuner. It'll take a while for this water to heat up. I'd say it'll probably take 30 or 40 cycles before this water gets hard enough to turn steam. I can speed it up by opening this up a bit and letting that hot air get in here. So, but if I decide to, I can. Once it turns into steam, I might reconsider just so that way I can max out the steam potential over here. So that way both these are running at full efficiency. But, I'd be really worried about this thing overheating. Um, okay, it doesn't actually have it. Oh yeah, it does. 617 degrees. Yeah, it could not handle the steam coming out of this, so I am not going to do that. But, it has a cooling loop, so this thing can run continuously now without having to overheat. So, that's a closed off system. I don't have to do anything with it anymore. Of these guys has gotten really hot. Okay. Yeah, a shitload of glossy Greco's though. I'm loving that. Okay, well, what I'm gonna do is what I've done in my off camera worlds. Well, actually, I could just run the cooling loop through. What is the lowest temperature they can handle? 50 degrees. Okay, and then let me just make a quick tweak for this. Uh, if it is above 51 degrees, uh, let's say 60 degrees. And then uh, change the temperature. It's almost down to that temperature already. Then we can just reroute the cooling loop here. Let's see here. We will. here and it'll continue up here so that right here Could make this look a little more elegant, but I'm not going to do that. I want it to prioritize this new loop, though. Okay. 
right? He wants to have this all built. We'll have a cooling loop to keep those plants cooled off. Math and put more water in there, so but Higher, though. Are they ever gonna come and start building on all this? No. Two pickings. Hmm. It's a pain in my ass, just that's what they are. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to quit re-rolling so much. I'm gonna reject that. We never did queue up another suit. Um, let's make one. Eventually. To where we have a surplus of uh, the natural gas, I may have it uh, pump some of it over here first. Ooh, I just realized there's been no oxygen going in here. What's the temperature inside this room? Yeah, toasty. Not a fan of that. Um, well, simple solution for now until we get a proper oxygen setup going. Stop us that oxygen diffuser in there. Ox yeah. Well, algae distiller. What's the priority set on these? Eight. There we go. Now we can get oxygen going in there. Okay, still no new hydrogen. They did finish that dig build. Love it. Neutronium in the way down here. Okay. Clear this up. Okay, and that'll give them something to do in their off time. Um, also queue up a fire pole. Uh, most of, don't know that. Well, let's make it out of something heat. down pretty easily. Thank you. 
back real quick and leave that water in there. I'm gonna go ahead and disable this one for now. How long is it? Okay, yeah, seriously. Let's do this quicker. So I want to use it the steam that comes out of here. Yeah. There we go. So now I've got some steam. Turn some more water in the steam. Here it comes. temporarily. Very, very temporarily. That's the word I know. Being a dummy, I can do something so much smarter. Switch three of these out for a won't be so full.
Alright, so it's done for uh, venting for this side. Alright guys, I think I got it all set up. I got the uh, water turned into steam. I used the steam to heat up the water and then I tiled the tent chip for So I got it all cleaned up though. Uh, for the most part, I got to get all the resources that left over. But, I got both steam turbines going. As long as this one running. Uh, which this one will probably continuously run now that I have the cooling roof running through our farms too. As, uh, the critters up here will start to starve. A smooth hatchling. That's not okay. Why did we get a smooth hatchling? There'd be no reason for that. Yeah, it's a slow percent chance, but it apparently does happen. Okay, where's our egg cracker? I seriously don't have an egg cracker in the base. Need somebody to build that. Yeah, I got the liquid. I got this cooling unit going on. It's already got three of them going again. This is slowly cooling down. It'll take a little bit of time, but eventually the temperatures in these rooms will equal out to exactly 60 degrees or whatever temperature they just pump out. Right above 60 degrees. To, but we've got some power sources going. Let's check on the natural guys for how much longer until it erupts. Ten more cycles. Nice. And that'll give us some more power. We obviously have the steam guys are now providing us power. Why is this no longer providing the maximum amount of power? Though? There's just a lot of steam in here. Oh, it is. It's just a shitload of steam. So it can't, it's not hot enough to where it is. Yeah, it, 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 once all that water evaporated, it created a shitload of steam in here. 500 uh, kilo. Well, actually, that's not that much. I guess compared to the normal amount, this is quite a bit. But these are staying nice and cool. Look at that, down to 70, same here. So we don't have to worry about these guys. This is a self-contained system that won't hurt anything. Temperatures outside the base have regulated. They're now back down to about 100 degrees instead of 300, but they work. So, yay for that. Um, but everything in here is fairly well contained. Even these are cooled off. So, we're doing pretty good. And these are slowly cooling off. Look at that, five of them are now at the right temperature. So that'll keep it keep it going. Okay. I'd say this is a pretty successful build. And it provides power to the base. Which we cannot complain about that. These will be continuously generating power. Uh, apparently it's still not enough though. Holy crap, our coal though. We've got to get another sustainable power source though. Mm, I don't know. But I'm going to look into it off camera. We've got this, and when it, and it'll be going for a while. It'll help us generate power. Um, dude, I don't know. This will store a lot of natural gas, too, so once it starts pumping, if this will help keep the power generation uh, going, which I think it'll, it should be, a, based on what I saw, this will be able to generate more gas than these can use, so we'll start getting a backup. And once we have the backup, we can keep these batteries filled, which will keep the rest of the batteries filled. So, yay there. Um, how's our generator over here going? Oof, they are not keeping it. In the slightest. It's causing this thing to heat up too, which is not very good. We've got to get something figured out for our power. Whoa, why is our water going down so low? up at I 
Come on. Eventually. Okay. That's not it. Oh, it's probably because I pumped a lot of that water into this room. And into this to keep fill our loop. Okay, that's probably what it is. Okay. This really needs to pick up the pace. We've got loads of water, it's just cold or hot. Take the copper. Okay. Alright, so we're gonna be on a quest for getting more power sources. Oh, another school cool steam vent. Cool steam vents drain more power than they produce. So that kinda sucks. Don't really think we could use this to produce any kind of power. Chlorine vents are nice and all, but not super useful. I guess we could use like a volcano of some nature to generate water. If we were to drop water on top of a hot rock setup with a miner, we could probably uh, generate power that way using a uh, steam generator that could be useful this comes at it pretty hot but that not nearly hot enough Ooh, they finished the dig down here incredible i'll have to queue up some more digging commands but anyway guys like i said i need to wrap this up we have already gone way too much i guarantee you that's an oil well right there um damn this is by far the furthest I've ever progressed into this pack, or into oxygen not included, so I'm pretty happy with that. Um, there's still so much we can do, though. Like, a ridiculous amount of things we can do. Um, getting solar panels up would be good, but that's going to require so much work. Because even if we dug our way all the way to the top up here, uh, we'd have to worry about meteor showers. So... Oh, so much more to come. We did find the edge over here, which is nice. Not entirely sure. Yeah, okay. Alright, um... If we find another steam geyser, we'll set up another one of these. Because this is a nice setup right here. And then we can use the cooling loop for something. We will eventually freeze this entire planet using... Steam turbines. That's the goal. Um, I'd like to find a metal volcano and set it up. Because this is set up and it is dormant for another 11 cycles. But eventually that'll start generating us power too. We got a cooling loop running through it. So. Once that's gone, we'll have plenty of hydrogen to keep the uh, keep a lot of the base powered, and we are officially out of water in here. Which is not super great. I'm probably going to create another storage for crude oil. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, click on the bell down below to let you know when I upload videos to YouTube. Also, be sure to check out the uh, I don't know what to say there. Be sure to leave a comment down below if there's anything you guys want to see in the future. Otherwise, guys, that's going to have to do it for me. So I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye, guys.